Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. How are you today? Let's continue our anatomy playlist. In previous videos, we talked about skin, fascia, bursa, tendons. We talked about cartilages. The last video was about hyaline cartilages. Today, we'll talk about the second type of cartilage, which is fibrocartilage. In the next video, we'll talk about the elastic or yellow cartilage. Fibro cartilage. As you can imagine, fibro, many fibers, very strong cartilage. That's why it exists in the midline. It's in the intervertebral disc supporting your body weight. Also in the symphysis pubis, so midline and midline. What else? Now we will move slightly away from the midline. We have the labrum glenoidale of the shoulder joint near the glenoid area, as well as labrum acetabulare near the acetabulum of the hip bone. Some tendons near their insertion have sesamoid structures such as sesamoid cartilages. These cartilages are fibrocartilage. Hey, medicosis, what gave them their strength? Type 2 collagen and even type 1 collagen. The same collagen that we find in bones? Yes, indeed. That's why they are very strong. That's why they are in your midline carrying the body weight. Please refer to my anatomy playlist and try to watch these videos in order. Cartilages and bones are mesodermal in origin. Cartilages are firm, but bones are hard. Cartilage is type 2 in general. Bones are type 1. Cartilages avascular. That's why they have lower metabolic rate and limited regeneration capacity as compared to bones. The cells of cartilage are chondrocytes and the matrix is not calcified. No calcium under normal conditions. So let's review. Cartilages, avascular, alymphatic, aneural, acalcified. No blood vessels, no lymphatic vessels, no nerve fibers, and no calcium. Cartilage composition, you have the matrix and you have the cells. We do not have any calcium in the cartilage. As for the cells, we have chondroblasts and chondrocytes. The matrix, water, type 2 collagen, glycosaminoglycans and proteoglycans. These are the different types of collagen. Type 1 is in bone, type 2 is in cartilage. Fibrocartilage is special because it has type 1 and 2 collagen. That's why fibrocartilage is strong, like the state of the union. So cartilages include hyaline cartilage, see the last video, fibrocartilage, we'll talk about it right now, and yellow elastic cartilage. Next video, please. Fibrocartilage, dense connective tissue, that's why we call it fibro. What kind of fibers? Collagen fibers. Type 1 or 2? Both. And they have cells that look exactly like fibroblasts, which help make all of this dense connective tissue. They give us great tensile strength. That's why they exist in the midline joints. If you look at the cells of the fibrocartilage and dig deeper to see the nucleus, the nucleus is flat and elongated. These fibroblasts secrete a proteoglycan known as versican. So versican, fibroblast, type 1 and 2 collagen equals fibrocartilage. Sites. You'll find fibrocartilage in the intervertebral disc, in the symphysis pubis, in the labrum of the glenoid at the shoulder joint, the labrum of the acetabulum at the hip joint, the sesamoid cartilages inside some tendons, the sternoclavicular joint, the temporomandibular joint or TMJ, the menisci of your knee, the triangular fibrocartilage complex of the wrist joint. If you like this video, you will enjoy my emergency medicine course where you'll learn about ARDS, different types of shock, drowning, hypothermia, hyperthermia, heat exhaustion, heat strokes, and all kinds of toxicology. So download it today at medicosisperfectionalis.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my course. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.